Hey guys, Fran here, Rams and Elite Fitness. And you can tell I'm in the kitchen, so we're gonna be talking about some food. Um, we're gonna talk about today a source of protein. Uh, it's a dairy source that I'm sure most of you guys uh, have eaten at some point, heard about it. Um, if it hasn't been in your diet, it's all right. We're gonna talk about um, a couple different options for it, but I'm gonna put it on the screen for you. Oh yeah. Jabani's pretty much had a like monopoly on the Greek yogurt right now, in my opinion. I mean, it's just it's killing the it's killing the been killing the yogurt game. I mean, you've got yogurt play, which is like all sugar and no protein. Um, even some of the other Greek yogurts, they are adding a lot of sugar in here. Um, Jabani is the best one that you can easily find. Now, if you go to a store like Whole Foods, I'm sure you can find a better one. But if you're just shopping at Shop and Save, uh, and you know, at an Aldi, or if you're going to a, a Giant Eagle, you know, Jabani. It's been the best, um, easily found Greek yogurt, in my opinion, of course. Um, reason being, it's got higher protein content, less sugar, and then less fat than some of the other other yogurts. Um, but that all changed because I've found something that's even more delicious. It's this guy right here. Siggy's. All right. It's actually uh, Iceland's version of yogurt. Uh, they call it skier, and... It's essentially the same thing. It's a dairy product, but the main differences are in the ingredients. And this brand, especially, is something that I really, really like. Um, I just started. I just started buying it this week, um, so I went through the taste test. Now let's look at the panel test real quick. Um, 110 calories in this yogurt versus Chobani's, 130. Okay, carbohydrates 19 in the Chobani, only 12 in the Siggy's, and then Siggy's has 14 grams of protein. The Jabani's 12 in this one here. So, wow. All right, just looking at the panel facts, you get more protein, less calories, less sugar in your Siggies. But what's really impressive is if you look at the actual ingredients on the list. Um, usually the golden rule is less list, uh, less number, different ingredients. Usually the better it is because it's not filled with a lot of additives and stuff and, you know, sugar. Let's look at the Greek. Let's look at Jabani's first so you can get an idea of what we're looking at here. Um... So it starts off with their non-fat yogurt, and it lists, uh, you know, milk, etc. What actually makes the base? It talks about different bacteria. And then second ingredient, you've got evaporated cane juice, raspberry puree, pectin. That rounds it out there. Um, versus Siggy's, pasteurized skim milk, cane sugar as your sweetener, and then blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, acai berries, pectin. Rounds up this. Big difference. I don't know if you caught it or not. Fruit puree, real fruit. Fruit puree, whole fruit. Whole fruit. Puree is essentially uh, grinding up a bunch of vegetables, or sorry, fruit, and then sticking it in here. So what happens is it's pretty equivalent to drinking like orange juice versus oranges. Okay, that's what this would be like. Um, with orange juice, you know, you can drink a couple orange juice. It's probably eaten like five oranges worth of sugar because they can just jam pack uh, more of it in there. So essentially here you're eating that much more sugar in the Chobani's versus your Siggy's that uses the whole, the whole fruit. Um, so that's the big difference with the bat there is that on top of, um, like I said, and then, and then the, the best part about it is, is I'm going to show you the side panel real quick here on Siggy's, which I, I mean, right on the side here. If you can read there, I mean, it's looking, it says uh, all natural milks from the grass fed cows, no, uh, you know, sweeteners, no artificial colorings, no preserves, no high, no high fructose corn syrup, milk product produced without the use of growth hormone. So it's got that factor to it, but without the price tag. It is, I think it's a couple of cents more expensive than Chobani's. I think they make a dollar forty or something like that, dollar fifty. But usually, when companies make these products, they usually skyrocket the price. Um, a lot of this, for me, I don't, you know, I, I don't care about a lot of the stuff like my milk from grass-fed cows. That usually affects your fat content. This is fat-free, anyways. Um, you know, and then even this, to be honest with you, some of the sweeteners like aspartame, it's been, it's been pretty split along the lines of dangerous, not dangerous. But there's no real research to determine that we use enough of it that it, it automatically for sure causes disease. So even that, I can't really 
come down too hard on just because the scientific research isn't there. And that's what I base my opinion on, not, you know, a study here and there that, that says, oh, well, it might be dangerous or correlation studies or any of that kind of stuff. Um, but usually what happens is when you have a company that makes stuff with all, with that kind of claims, where they take all the stuff out and they make sure their cows are, are treated right, what happens is those costs that the farmers have to endure, they usually try to pass on to the consumer. Well, that's not the case here. So you're getting um, – a product with those benefits, but without the price tag, really, if you think about it. It's just a couple cents more. Um, and one last point I'll leave it with here, too. I just finished this one here, and this is vanilla. Okay, This might have been, honestly, the, the best tasting yogurt I've had. I, I mean, honestly, this might even taste better than Yoplait, which is all sugar, which should be, which some of them taste amazing. Like, you see the Boston cream pies, key lime pies. Those taste amazing because it's just sugar. But these, I mean, it's actually good for you if you look at the panel. And then also... This has only got nine grams of sugar in it. And it's vanilla. Um, let me go through the ingredient list. It ain't, trust me, it's not very long. Pasteurized skim milk, organic agave nectar is your sweetener here, Madagascar bourbon vanilla, and then your bacteria. That's it. So three ingredients besides bacteria in here, and this tastes better than any of the other yogurts out there with a billion sweeteners and a billion, you know, it feels like truckloads of sugar they put in there. Um, and uh, we're not gonna be able to see it on here, I bet. Maybe I cleaned up pretty good. Yeah, you can see a little bit, little specks in there. It's actual vanilla. Nah, it's actual vanilla bean. Like I, like I said there, it's uh, Madagascar bourbon vanilla. It's actually vanilla in there. It tastes like vanilla. Um, and it's low on ingredients, low on sugar. Um, so guys, if you're at the store and you see Siggy's Icelandic skier, not Greek yogurt, skier, go ahead and pick yourself up a couple containers. They're absolutely delicious. Small, easy to take to work with you. Um, and I think for right now it's going to be coming up. They're going to be. It's going to be better. It's better right now than I think Chobani's Greek yogurt. And I think once companies catch on and really get into this market, this is going to be um, the next Greek yogurt. How that phase came where everybody was loving the Greek yogurt. Here's what's next. Stay ahead of it. Rams and Elite Fitness, baby. See you guys.